Hello, good morning everyone. This is Gina Crochet Gal. This morning I would like to share a project um, that I've worked on this morning and um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope it inspires you to make one and give it a try. So let's get started. Okay, what we first did was a chain, single crochet, I mean a chain of 13, and then 12 single crochets across. Now the next step is, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to do a half double crochet across. Now you're going to repeat this rows 2 through 14 with a half double crochet in each. So you should have 12 half double crochets in each row. And then the last one, 12. Now don't forget to do that end one, because that's how we tend to become crooked when we're doing a, a square piece or a rectangle. Okay, so then you're going to chain one and turn and repeat that for 13 more rows. And I'll meet you back here when we have the first panel done. Okay, now we have the first panel done. Now let's um, review. Here's the first uh, chain of 12. And then we did rows 2 through 14 with a half double crochet. So the next part we're going to do is we've got our chain one and we're going to turn and all we're going to do next is two rows of single crochet very simple now my daughter asked me because I'm teaching her how to do basic stitches and the types of easy projects that she can make and I'm doing this video for her So go ahead and go across, Oops. and do two rows of single crochet. Okay, so after you do that, we will continue with the next step. Okay, we, we've um, completed the two rows of single crochet. Now let me show you what we're doing here. I have one completed. Now this is panel one. Okay, let me see if I can get the whole thing in there. Probably can't. Okay, so from here to here, here's the first row of single crochet. And then rows 2 through 14 with the half double crochet right here. Here's where it stops. And now we did this section right here, which is the two rows of single crochet right here. And then we're going to finish off with four rows of two half double crochets. And then we're going to make this little button uh, loop here. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. This is panel one. And then it's going to fold over like that. Okay, so now we continue with four rows 
of half double crochet. Okay, go ahead and continue across and repeat this for three more rows. What I like to do every few rows is to make sure that we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're doing good. So go ahead and finish off the four rows and I'll show you the ne next and last step for this panel. Okay, we've just repeated, uh, oh goodness, I'm still working on my first cup of coffee here. So, bear with me. Okay, so we finished the last row of the half double crochet, so we chain one and we're going to turn. Now we're going to do four slip stitches. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to create the loop for the buttonhole. We're by chaining four. One, two, three, four. We're going to count over four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to have four stitches left. So on the next one, we're going to slip stitch the last four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and chain one more and we're going to fasten off. This is just to make the loop, the knot. And we're going to get a lot of thread yarn <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and tie that off, fasten off and tighten. Okay, so we have made the first panel and this is what you're going to have. Okay, here's the buttonhole and we're going to go ahead and put a button right here. Okay, uh, but before we do that, <clears throat> let me show you the second panel, and it's done the exact same way. And you start off with uh, 13 single crochet, uh, 13 um, chain stitches, and in the first row, single crochet 12, and then rows 2 through 14 are 12 half double crochets, and then that's it. Fasten off. Okay, what I chose to do, you can have it this way, whatever way you want to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, with the yarn needle, is with the long tail that we left here, we can slip stitch down here. And we're going to go ahead and sew all the way around to make our pouch. Okay? And in the next step, we will go ahead and do that. Okay, here is the button that I've chosen. Before we um, sew in the seams here, we are going to put our button on the first or second panel first. So you're going to go ahead and tack that down. So go ahead and do that, and we'll be right back. Okay, and once you have the button tacked down. Go ahead and turn it around and go ahead and make a couple of knots to secure it. Or on this one you don't have to weave the ends in because this is the back part and it's not going to be seen. Go ahead and cut that off. Get rid of the 
excess. Okay, and then let's go ahead and begin sewing it all around. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch this part so it can come down to this section so it meets right here. And then we're going to go ahead and begin with a whip stitch all the way down. Okay, go ahead and begin that and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I have stitched all the way around up through here. Okay, and once I did that, you know, we've got it all closed, right? But on the top, I don't know if you can see or if you can tell, I stitched just up on top all the way around just to give it a little bit more detail. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I've gone ahead and stitched all the way around on the top. And then on the flap, this is the actual whip stitch. Okay, and I'm doing it up here on the buttonhole as well. And what I'm doing is I'm going through twice in the chain stitch so that it's a little bit more durable. You don't have to do this, but if you're go actually going to use it, you'd want to go ahead and reinforce it a little bit more. And I do use the things that I make, with the exception of some of the hats, because like I shared in my previous video, I do not look good in hats. I only wear the headbands. One of the slouchy hats that I made, actually it was the um, the messy bun hat. There was one that I made and when I tried it on it actually looked decent on me so I went ahead and closed up the top and put a pom-pom on it and I can actually wear that one. So I will be wearing that one when I take my daughter to school in the morning. Or when it's, you know, 20 degrees. It's kind of cold. And, okay, so I've gone ahead and put two stitches in the chain stitches up here for the buttonhole. So it's a little bit more durable. And continue on with the whip stitch without tangling your yarn <laughs> and continue with that and then we'll all we'll be done pretty soon what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet a flower and put it on the back just to add a little more to it. Okay, so go ahead and finish that off by whip stitching the rest of this and then we'll go ahead and fasten off and cut. And I need to do my last tail. Weave it through. Okay, go, go ahead and finish that part off and I'll go ahead and crochet the flower and attach it and then I will show you the finished product. Okay, here are the finished pieces. Okay, so um, I went ahead and put or stitched the flower on the back and because it was a little off, I didn't have it in the middle, so I went ahead and put a green vine here to make a flower. Okay, and on this one here, I did this one a little bit different before before I sewed it together. I went ahead and stitched the flower on the back before I actually put these two panels together. So then it, you know, it was a little bit easier to put it where I wanted it. So here's what it looks like. It fits. And there is my 
cell phone pouch. There we go. Okay, well I hope you give this one a try. Oh, before I end, let me show you another one I did. This one was done using the circular, you need this uh, continuous circle to keep going in rounds. And that's a cover for a smaller phone, which is my daughter's phone. And this button cover I did a little bit different. <clears throat> I went ahead and put the button on, and then on top, I stitched the flower on top of the flap. And there's the button opening so that it covers like, like that. So these are two types that I did. It was fun. A nice way to spend a Sunday morning drinking my coffee. So give this a try. It's fun and it's fast to make a, a nice little cover for your phone. Well, ev everyone enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I hope you all have a very nice day and we'll talk to you again. Bye.